Cheers, guys. Epics 911, welcome to the Elitist Geek. Miscellaneous VR video dealing with the HTC Vive Lighthouse tracking stations mounted on tripods. All right. I have had a ton of questions from a lot of you about these. I've had people make fun of me for using them. You're an idiot. Why don't you just mount them on the wall, you idiot? Uh, I've had people say it's a great idea. I've had people, you know, question why. You name it, somebody's commented on it. You know what? At the end of the day, if it doesn't work for you, it's all good. Chillax, move on, find something else, right? No sweat. But if it can help one of you, hey, that's awesome. And that's all I hope to achieve at the end of the day is just to show you another way that you can accommodate tracking, right? The other comment was, you know, saying that if I put it on the wall, you never have to move it. Well, that's just not true. Depending on the variables, right? The dimensions for my space are ever changing. If I'm here with my wife, I've got a certain amount of space I can use. A couple of different configurations are possible, depending on what she's doing. If I got my buddy here and she's not here, again, it changes. If I'm all alone, it changes again. The point is the five or six different configurations that I use in the man cave here, right? Require the tripods in multiple positions. I can't just put one in a diagonal corner and the other in the other diagonal corner. It just doesn't work with how the room is laid out. So that's the reason I put them on tripods, right? But there's a flexibility associated with the tripod that you just can't beat. If you know your wall or your room requirements are never going to change, the wall's the way to go. Absolutely. Because you do it, you forget about it, you're done. But if you're dimensions change a lot or hell you just want to do it in a different room maybe you want to bring it to a party and show it off tripods 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 nothing beats them in all of those scenarios none of nothing that's what we're going to get into so i'll show you how that works this brand here is probably one of the most often asked questions right i'm going to bring it right up to the camera it's ultimax and it's double x okay they were advertised as 84 inches tall. Now, that's a little bit of a, uh, of a fib. They aren't. They're basically seven feet tall. But as long as they're taller than you, I'm six foot even, they're fine. And I'm going to show you that, okay? Putting them on is super easy. I'm going to show you how that works, providing I don't drop it for the demo. <laughs> So at the bottom of these, because remember, tripods are basically designed for cameras, right? Whether it's uh, a regular camera or a camcorder, all those cameras have mounting capability, right? And it's a standard hole that they have, okay? So you basically open the lever on most of these tripods, you mount the camera to the little plastic or metal disc, whatever it is, and then you see that design that it has there? That gets locked in place. When you push the lever up and you lock it in place, it doesn't move, okay? There's a little flap right on the bottom here. And you can just turn that to tighten it and loosen it, okay? The lighthouses have that exact same mounting screw. And they've got it in two spots. They've got it on the bottom and they've got it on the rear, right? We're not going to attach it to the rear. We could because you could also turn this up and I'll show you that after. We're just going to mount it to the bottom. So all you do is you take that bolt, right? Put it in anywhere here. It doesn't matter and then just tighten. Okay, as soon as it's tight, you'll know. See, I can now hold it by that. Open the lever, pop it inside, close the lever. There's no way it's coming off. It is stuck there 
I'm not going to shake it too hard because it is still a fragile piece of equipment, but you get the point. It's not going to come off. Okay. So I'm going to stand here and I'm going to show you guys the height of this fully extended. All right. So again, keep in mind, I am six feet tall even. Okay. So we're just going to let the bottom legs go all the way. One more leg. Okay. Then the last bit of extension you can do is the neck on these will telescope upwards. Okay. I'm going to go as high as I can go and I'm going to put it back a little bit so you can see it. So remember I said you only have to have it higher than your head. Okay. I'm six feet tall. If we measure this, For anybody who's metric, okay, I am basically 183 centimeters tall, so 183. But in metric or non-metric in Imperial, basically the cam the tracking starts at 74 inches and it goes up to about 77 and a half. Okay. Keep in mind, six feet is 72 inches, so that's almost half a foot over my head. Okay. You can get a few more inches putting the legs narrower together, okay? So that you don't worry about knocking it over. There's a hook on all of these. All the, even the cheap ones, you generally come with a hook. Look for one that comes with a hook if you don't see it. Keep looking, okay? You can hang a weight on there and that will provide added stability to keep it from knocking over. I also suggest you put something in front of it. Okay, so I've got like an ottoman, a couple of ottomans. I'll wheel one in front of each wherever I happen to position it, right? Or an office chair, something that's lower that you're going to bump into to not bump into that. That's it, okay? So you can see the height. Now we're going to come in a little closer again, and I'm going to show you guys how versatile these are. <laughs> Because the key with these tracking stations to get a really good tracking signal, okay, the key for that is to have them facing in a 30 degree angle, okay? Here's what I mean by that. So we're going to stand it up. Let's go a little higher so you can see, just for the example. With most of these tripods, you've got a couple of different levers. You've got the one on the back here. That will allow you to go forwards and backwards with the camera, okay? So that's the front view. And I'm going to do a side view. So let's go straight up. The one on the side here allows you to swivel, okay? The recommended positioning is above your head, about a foot above anybody who's walking's head, and then down about 30 degrees like that and then tighten. Look how easy that is. Let go, you're done. You do that with both of them. That will ensure you've got all the coverage on the floor up to the ceiling when you have it at an angle like that, about 30 degrees. Super easy to do, right? This is movable, so if you had put it on the back, you could have just extended it up like that and you get yourself even another inch out of it or two, right? So you do that, use that as like a last trick you could probably get it even a little bit higher but the point is it's high enough unless you're seven or eight feet tall this is going to do you fine right so you pick up two of these 60 bucks and you get all that versatility you can carry it with you these came with a carrying bag super easy to assemble disassemble and the best of all to move it around right and when you're done if you want to put a camera back on just take it off Reverse what you did to put it on in the first place. And you're done. I'm just going to see if there was anything else I was going to mention with these. I talked about the degrees. Uh, yeah, the tracking, basically. It's a green light. It's good. So if you have tracking issues, always make sure that the base, these stations, the lighthouses, can see each other. And they can see, at least one of them at all times, can see the controller and the headset, the HMD. All those sensors that are on there, they need to be visible to these units and do it at that angle. Don't do it straight up like this, okay? You don't want to do that. 
because it can't find you on the ground. So you'd have basically a blind spot near the base of both of them, right? You do this, it's got enough to angle to the floors, both sides. So the one on that side can see the base around this one, vice versa. And you still have the height straight across above head, no problem. All right, guys, that's it for lighthouse tracking with the Vive. Hopefully you found that informative. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer it. Other than that, till the next time, cheers, guys.